Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're gonna show you how to replace a bladder bag in a Tobal accumulator. You have to use the proper assembly and disassembly, and helping us out is gonna be Mike Baldwin. He is with Freudenberg Ditch Dematic. Mike, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Uh, I'm excited, man. We've got a lot going on here. Uh, we're gonna be working with this accumulator, but what we're actually doing today, it's, it's universal, the kit that we have, correct, for this? I mean, it, it'll correct. cover like 90, 95% of the accumulators out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And, and speaking of the kits, when we do replace stuff, what are we actually gonna get in the kit that we're gonna be replacing? In, in the new kit, you're gonna get a new bladder bag, okay. a new O-ring, right. plastic backup ring, a valve core for the gas valve, and a new valve cap. All right, you ready to do this? Absolutely. Let's, All right, let's put on our PPE. Uh, you want to make sure that you're wearing the proper PPE each and every time for whatever the job calls for. Safety is always priority number one. Okay, if you're ready to go, I'll help you and uh, follow along. All right, first of all, you want to make sure that you're clean, you're disassembling and assembling your accumulator in a clean environment. Okay. Uh, dust free, contaminant free. You don't want to introduce any type of foreign matter into the accumulator. All right. uh, secondly, you want to make sure that it's fastened tightly into a stand. Uh, it could be any type of stand that We'll, we'll properly hold an accumulator to keep it from spinning while we're working on it. Yeah, we got a lot of tools. We don't need anything moving around. Do no, we? not at all. All right, what's the first step? The first thing you want to do is using proper discharge techniques, you want to remove the gas valve and bleed off any pressure that's in the bag. Okay, all right. Being that this is a bag that you're not going to use any longer, you can remove the valve stem. All right. Next, you want to remove the, the lock nut on the gas valve. All right, so we're going to push from this end and we're going to pull it out from the fluid port body. What's now up, we're ready to lead the gas in and move down to the fluid end. Okay. Using an Allen wrench, you want to remove our bleeder valve from the poppet valve assembly. This is going to relieve any type of pressure that's built up in that, in that poppet valve. Okay. Next, we want to use a spanner wrench and remove the lock nut from the poppet valve assembly. Now, we saved those. This is not something that's going to come in the kit, so we're going to use that for later. Absolutely. All right. Also move the metal spacer. This is, uh, notice that when you remove this, there's a lip on here. This lip needs to go back into the accumulator shell in order to help center the fluid port poppet valve assembly. Next, using your rubber mallet, we want to tap on the poppet valve assembly and push it into the body of the accumulator. Now, we're going to reach in here and remove the Teflon ring, okay. the O-ring, and the metal spacer. So we can take our metal spacer ring, put it over by the other items that we're going to reuse. Gotcha. Next, you're going to take the anti-extrusion ring, slide it off of the poppet valve assembly. We're going to remove this and we're going to inspect this for any type of damage. This is a non-wear item, so nine times out of ten, it's going to be in good condition and you can reuse it. But now we've taken everything off the bottom right here. These are the rings uh, on the inside you can see right here. That's what we just, the extrusion ring is what we pulled out. And so the next thing you're going to see, um, we're going to pull this uh, mechanism right here that's going to have the spring on it to pull that out that's going to allow us to actually pull the bladder through here yeah, that mechanism is the poppet valve assembly so now we're going to reach in remove the poppet valve assembly okay. from the body set it over to the side now it's time to move on to removing the bladder bag all right which can at sometimes be very difficult well, i understand we're going to need uh we're going to need this animal right here right so how are we going to actually get that out now so what we're going to do is reach in here push on the gas valve from the gas in and just try to grasp it the best you can Okay. This one came out pretty easy. We're lucky on this one. Okay. But you might need something like this just in case. Absolutely. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to take this bag and you want to look it over real well. Look for any type of sharp objects, any type of contaminants that are sticking to the bag um, because these are, these are reasons that this bag failed. So that just makes me to ask this next question. If something got in there to fail, then we need to inspect the inside of the accumulator as well. Absolutely. Okay. What we want to do is take a flashlight. Oh, we'll look in there. Again, you're looking for any type of foreign contaminant, sharp objects, anything that could have got into the system, something that you think would puncture the bag. Actually, it, it looks clean. I think we're good. Okay. And we want to wipe it out on the inside wipe and get rid of all that before we put the new bag in. Exactly. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to put a new bag in. So what we're gonna do is take the system fluid. We're gonna spray this bag down. Also, we wanna spray the inside of the accumulator shell with the system fluid as well. All right. All right, Tom, I'm gonna to let you collapse this bag. Okay. I'm gonna slide the lock nut over the pull rod and insert it from the gas end. Tom, when you get that done, just thread it to this pull rod. Now, while someone pulls on the gas end, you wanna have someone on the fluid end feeding the bag into the system. <sighs> Now we're going to slide the lock nut over the gas valve and tighten the lock nut and remove the T-handle and insert the valve core back into the gas valve. We take the poppet valve assembly and insert it back into the fluid port in. 
slide it back into the accumulator shell. Now that's going to go in first before we replace anything that we took out earlier, correct? Absolutely. All right. Next, we're going to take that anti extrusion ring that we saved earlier and insert it back into the accumulator shell and slide it over the poppet valve assembly. Once it's over the poppet valve assembly, pull the poppet valve back through the fluid port body. Mm -hmm. And now's a good time to put about 5 to 10 PSI of dry nitrogen in the bladder bag. That helps seat the poppet valve in the okay. proper position. So next we're going to put our metal washer that we saved from earlier. Okay. We're going to take a screwdriver or something blunt, push this until it bottoms out against the fluid port assembly. Next, we take our new O-ring provided in the kit, slide it over the poppet valve assembly. You also want to use a blunt object when you're installing this O-ring too without any sharp edges. You want to push that O-ring back in place gently be sure not to roll it or twist it while you're doing it but you want to push it back in until it bottoms out as well okay next you want to install the plastic backup ring followed by the metal spacer ring notice okay. we're putting it in with the lip facing into the body followed by the lock nut and we'll use our spanner wrench once again to tighten that down once that's complete take your bleed off screw and insert it back into your pop valve all right what happens next yeah so it depends on what you're going to do if you're going to you know, give it back to the customer and they put it on the shelf, you know, they want to charge it to around 25 PSI of dry nitrogen. Okay. And uh, in order to keep everything in optimal condition, you know, while it's sitting on the shelf. If they're going to put it back into the system th immediately, then they need to follow the pre-charge instructions. All right. Now, once we charge it, we have our cap. That's going to go on the end as well. Exactly. And then, so we're secure and we're good to go. Exactly. This is a new cap that was provided with the kit. And this goes over the gas valve to protect the valve stem. Awesome. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mike Baldwin. And so there you go. We did the uh, disassembly and the assembly. And uh, if you have any questions, like he said, call Motion. They'll be able to help you out. As you saw, we had on our PPE. Uh, you want to make sure you do that for whatever the job calls for. Wear the proper PPE. Safety is priority number one. And priority number two. Go to mihowto.com and you can find more great videos there, great demonstrations like this one with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Hey, thanks so much for watching.